Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jordy's beer reviews and this one we're looking at Boondoggle by Ringwood Brewery Boondoggle Let's have a wee read Deliciously fruity craft blonde ale 4.2% alcohol volume Ringwood Brewery Let's have a wee read of the back guys We take two things seriously here at Ringwood our ales and our leisure time. Along with creating quality craft ales, we are relaxation enthusiasts. Our motto is visit the winding downs. Visit the winding downs. A place to enjoy some quality time with friends. Our blonde Bindolo is a delicious way fruity ale, affectionately crafted to savour and satisfy. Best enjoyed with a spicy burrito. Hmm. If I had a spicy burrito, I would pair it with it, but I don't have burritos. Bottle cap, guys. Focusing perfect for the change there. Nice. Front of the beer, back of the beer. I don't know about the best by date or anything like that. Says it. Best by date, 31st of August 2022. So that's good. It's really fresh. Let's get it in a glass, guys. I just done I, I done a beer review earlier and I forgot to fucking clean the glass out, didn't I? And I can't be bothered going all the way down the stair and getting another glass. So I'm just gonna to nip to the toilet that's right there. So two seconds. Back. So I had just done a beer review of this. I had I have just done a beer review of that. And now on to this one. Um <coughs> They're all, it's from a, a pack called Golden Ales, and it's six bottles of beer, six 500ml beers, all around 4%, 4 to 5%. Um, and yeah, that's from the same pack, so is that one. And this one I really like, this is Cumberland. Can't remember the brewery. Can't remember the brewery. I think it's Marston, I think, does it. Queen glass now, guys. Queen glass. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get it into a... Uh, yeah, I did open it. Into a glass. Boom. There we go. So, beer in the glass, guys. Ringwood Brewery. Have I had anything from Ringwood Brewery before? Yes. Razorback. Ringwood Razorback. I had that. I, I, I reviewed it as well. I'm pretty sure I reviewed that. Yeah, I did. I did. I reviewed Ringwood Razorback. I reviewed Ringwood Razorback a while back. <laughs> So, um, while we wait for this head to kind of chill out a bit, let's go on with the artwork. So, what the hell is that meant to be? A warthog or some, something? Oh, I remember. I remember. That's, just, that's the same picture as the other one. So, it's like... A warthog, I think. I think someone told me it was something else, but I can't remember what it was. Um, comment down below what this animal is. It looks like a warthog to me. Still, if animal I can think of. 4.2% ABV. Deliciously fruity. Crap bon ale. Boondoggle. Sounds Scottish, doesn't it? Boondoggle. 
Wrangle Brady again. Wrangle Brady ist für Runde, ne? Alter. England. Ja, yeah, Product of England. Ja. Yeah. Here we go, guys. So. Let's go with the appearance right away. The appearance of the beer. Armbar. Gold color. Quite dark color. This is really, really. In fact, I'm going to. I prefer doing this. Putting it like that. Or should the beer be there? I don't know. What do you guys prefer? Should the beer be here or should it be there? I'll put it here. Put it there. Boom. Let's go with the aroma. Not getting anything. <clears throat> Sweet malty smell. You can smell the malt, that's all. Let's just go for tasty right away, guys. <clears throat> so, cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Boondoggle by Ringwood Brewery. Cheers, y'all. Oh, the aftertaste is weird in that one. Starts off really light. Um, starts off very light, guys. Um, light, clean, crisp, refreshing beer. Easy drinking stuff. And before you know it, you're going to get this. Wait, if, if, they have, if they have actually drank the beer. You get this aftertaste this week. Robust, kind of burned, burned kind of taste. I was going to say it tastes nice, but I can taste it in my mouth, in my mouth still. I can still taste that in the aftertaste right now. And do you want to know something? It's not a nice, that, it's not. Put it this way, this is what, the aftertaste in my mouth right now is what I imagine burning rubber, burning rubber to taste like. See, it's nice there. That is actually nice. There's that aftertaste again. What the hell is that aftertaste? It's weird. Um, I'm not sure if I like it or not. When, when you first dive in, yeah, it's nice, it's clean, it's crisp, refreshing. Um, there's a weird aftertaste about it all. Do I like it? Yeah! But the, if it wasn't for that weird aftertaste, I would like it more. Um, let's go with the artwork. So yeah, the warthog and all that stuff, pretty cool. I like, um... I do like the style, like, it's not just a white label or something, it's like, like wood or something on the label. So old time, kind of, kind of, it was old time-ish, and if you look at the writing there, it says Boondoggle. It was kind of western, in a way, western mm -hmm. writing. So, like, I like the approach of the beer, I, I get what they're doing, you know. A nice star on there as well. Ringwood Star, Ringo Star. Um. Anyway, guys, yeah. Artwork. I'm gonna give it a straight up. I'm gonna give it an eight point five out of ten for the artwork. Eight point five out of ten for the artwork. So next up is the drinkability. That is very nice. <laughs> that is very nice. I know. Fuck no. Um, it is very nice. I know. It, it is very nice. Um, but clean, crisp, refreshing stuff. Um, that is a bit of a weird aftertaste there, but 
it won't annoy you that much. That much. Um, drinkability is it very is it easy drinking? How easy drinking is it out of ten? Um, I'll give it a nine point five out of ten for the drinkability. Nine point five out of ten for the drinkability. <laughs> did I show the bottle cap off? I did, didn't I? I showed the bottle cap off. Is this beer worth keeping for a display? Mm, maybe. 4.2% alcohol volume. And a 500? Yeah. And a 500 ml bottle at all. Um, so yeah, um, final grade now guys. It's going on to 11 minutes. So I'll have another wee drink. I'll tell you guys my final grade of this one, and then Jordi out. I'm actually getting used to that aftertaste that I said that I don't like. <laughs> yeah, I like that, guys. It's not over the top in any way. I would say it's a well-balanced, well-brewed, um, very refreshing, crisp, especially when it's cold, easy drinking ale. So, <laughs> yeah, would I personally buy this again? Do you know what? Yeah, I would actually buy it again because I quite like it. I like this. Yeah. Um. I can't remember what Razorback was like, really. I want to maybe look up my review on that. Um, I don't know if this is better or not. Maybe I could do a versus. But if you guys want to see a versus of Boondoggle versus Razorback, then um, hit me up in the comments below and just say, like, yeah, we do a versus of this. Or, hey, what's your favourite beer, guys? You know? Um, if, one, if, if you've got a favourite beer and you want me personally to review it, um, then comment below and I will review it and shout you out on the video as well. Um, if I have already done the review, don't matter. I'll revisit it in your honour. Um, the only reason I won't do a beer review is if I can't find the beer, you know. Um, unless I find it online or whatever. But um, if you've got a beer that you want me personally to review, then comment section is down there, you know. So guys, I think I'm ready to give my final score. Final score! Oh, Boondoggle! Deliciously fruity! Craft bloody ale, 4.2% alcohol volume. Boom boom. It's completely empty now. Completely empty. So guys, my final my final score on Boondoggle. By Ringwood Brewery is going to get a straight up. It's going to get a straight up. 8.9 out of 10. 8.9 out of 10 for this one here. Boondoggle by Ringwood Brewery. So, yeah, I like that one. Would I buy it again? Yes. Would I recommend it to a friend? Blah, blah, blah. Yes. So, I'm going to cut the video off with a final wee drink and then a final wee cheers. Cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching my channel. Please join back very soon for another beer review. Um, you know. Mm. Nice stuff. Nice stuff. Peace, love.
happiness to all and to all a good night peace guys take care of yourself stay healthy stay positive stay awesome and yeah catch you guys in the next one peace